Let's do it. Stage one. And immediately you see S Fat just coming in with the drill. And of course the drill is a really smart thing to go for, knowing that the ice climbers can crouch cancel your aerials, right? It was interesting seeing Fly just go for the wobble. Oh yeah. Um Fly notoriously known for not wobbling at all. Yeah, this guy, he is really good with the handoffs and a lot of yep. other technical feats with the ice climbers, but when it comes to the wobble, you rarely see Ooh, him do it. That shield stab from behind. Yep. That was nasty. Definitely clipped his legs. You saw him exposed and yeah. he went right for it. Yeah, that's great awareness. Let's see what s can do. All right. Oh, just Nana. keeping her away. Yeah, you just have to keep them separated. You have to know when to back off of Nana and when to go for her. Whoa. Once you kill Nana, Pumple can't really do much, of course. Um, but yeah, good recognition there. Like he, he, Good awareness, rather. He was aware that Nana was not going to come back, able to go after Popo, and get him the kill. s of course, bringing the stocks close. Immediately retreating to the platforms to avoid the Ice Climbers. As you know, the Ice Climbers have a problem dealing with people that go on the platforms. You have to basically, go, you know, take a risk. Ooh. But Fly, regardless, taking that stop. Yeah, that was nasty. Yeah, and that's a lot of the matchup, too, is just run up shine. And Nana's dead right off the bat. That was crazy. I didn't think she landed Ooh. yet. Clutch. Is Pobo dead? He's All right, that was such a good up tilt. And that's going to be the stock. 93%. What? what? s -Fat is a beast. <laughs> he just got zero to death. Like, he just came back immediately. Oh, it, it's without a question, this man is a beast. In winners, semifinals, beating so many good opponents at yeah, his tournament. that is true. That yeah. is true. Never underestimate s -Fat. Especially after, you know, losing um, a set in pools, some people were questioning how he was going to do in this tournament, but he's brought it back, you know. He has that fire. Yeah, I thought it was crazy because he, uh, he got second seed in round one pools and then got first seed in round two. It's like, what? Like, he just stepped it up. All right, S-Fat losing momentum a little bit. Fly carrying it, getting another shield stab there uh, from the bottom from that down smash. But uh, S-Fat can do it. He can do, a, you know, another comeback. It's not too hard on Ice Climbers. Um, they are a very heavy glass cannon. So we do it here. Oh, I'm not covering the roll option. Right now, S-Fat finding his way inside of the Ice Climber wall, capitalizing on their lack of out-of-shield options. Yeah, Nana's gone, but we all have heard stories about uh, Fly's Sopo. Let's see what he can do. Listen to up smash. That was nice to fly, though. He had to have the awareness to drift way back. Yeah, I like the maneuver that Fly went for, but that back air missed. And it kind of seemed like the L cancel. He probably did catch the L cancel, but regardless, since he whiffed, he was in trouble. You saw that? That covered everything. Oh, oh! Covering every option. Oh, my gosh. That was amazing by Fly. He takes game one. S Fad with the, uh, the acknowledge. He, he did a little nod. Acknowledging, uh, you know, that was a good situation. I wonder what we'll see for a counter pick. Um... I imagine maybe probably Stadium or Yoshi's. Yeah, Stadium is a good choice. Definitely going to Stadium, but the platforms won't be high enough for the Ice Climbers to not be able to pester Fox if you were to retreat to them. Right. This can be yeah. a little frustrating because if uh, you get cornered, if you get cornered uh, to either edge as Fox, um, Ice Climbers can really cover both uh, both options above the platform and under the platform. Yep. As you can already see from Fly, he'll just go for either a short hop or full jump up here. Yeah. So this uh, this match will. Be, this match will have a lot of stage control. You'll, you'll notice that. Um, Fly's going to try to get center stage a lot more. Uh, and just keep s out of the zone. Oh, Fly. Missing the side B punish right I'm there. surprised he didn't shorten. I, I really thought s would shorten that one. That was interesting. Right now, it looks like he's going to have to forsake Nana. Oh, that, there it is. That was nice patience by s -Fat. Um, right before he got the up smash, he just waved that in place and just was just jabbing just to keep him out. Smart plays by Fly so far. This should, oh gosh. Missed the up air. But that's okay. Took no damage. That's what matters. And if anything, he was up a stock, so you know. He can come in with invincibility to threaten Fox. That is right. I don't know how I feel about this transfer. I don't know how I feel about any of the transformations against Ice Climbers. Especially that pit down there. You don't want to get caught against Fox there. He can just drill shine infinite or even the short hop one too. Definitely. But I feel like even then Ice Climbers, like if they get you down there, oh gosh. That's unfortunate. Even if Ice Climbers get you down there, you can just get down smashed like four times in a row. And great down tilt right there by S Fat. Basically winning in the crouch cancel war between the two. S Fat's up tilts are immaculate. Like he's gotten two kills already off of the set just by that same situational uh, up tilt right there to up, to up air. Oh, here we go. Yeah, see, I feel like Fly's comfortable down there. Like, he knows he can get a lot of damage, and it might be worth the risk. Because 
there would be two, you know, two characters you'd have to drill shine. I'm sure, like, do some crazy smash guy with nice timers. That's gonna be stock. Nice awareness by Fly just to go grab the edge. Yep, regardless of Nana taking damage, at least he's still fine. Another opportunity. Right, let's see what he does with this. Oh, oh. that smash. Or did he miss it? Probably a miss, it seems. All right. Well, Nana was a bit too late. Ooh. Wow. And like that, it stopped his lead's gone. Just like that. All right, he's going to need to kill Nana here. Tries to go for the forward smash. Good choice. Fortunately, uh, Nana did grab the edge first. It's really smart of Vespat to keep switching targets because you don't want to keep an Ice Climber main thinking that you're only focusing on Nana. Because then yeah. they'll use Nana as a decoy. Oh, yeah, that is an interesting point. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. All right. I, like, I think Esfet was trying to bait out a roll there. Uh, good play by Fly just to stay in that situation. I think he threw out an air. Uh, just covering that option. He knew Esfet wanted to approach the arrow to get a hard hit in. Yeah, it's looking like Fly's going to run away with this. Uh, Esfet's going to need to get this kill really, really soon. He's not taking much percentage. Again, looking for the up tilt. Yeah, you can see he's just trying to play patient and neutral, tossing out tilts, not over committing with approaches as he was getting dash attacked a couple times when he was trying to run in neutral. Yeah, very smart play. And, okay, opting to go in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that should be it, yeah. Really good decent combo. And now we are at two zip. Fly Manita over S Fat. Now Mike, did you see this coming so far? What was that? Did you see this coming? Did you like predict um in your mind? No, not yeah. necessarily. Uh the fly always surprises everyone at nationals. Yeah. So it doesn't surprise me too much, like because I, I know the kid like can always do good. Yeah, he's definitely capable. Um but I'd like to see more mixed ups by S Fat. He's I don't know, I feel like at this point like he you know, he took his win and he got, might have got comfortable with him. Um but he's not playing like he usually does. Like I'm not seeing as much waiting as I as I usually do. I'm not seeing as many mix-ups as he did even earlier today in the uh, versus you know versus Leffen. Uh -huh. Like I was actually mentioning that during the break. Like he was changing his approaches so many times, and um, he's just not changing up as much. Like I would like to see him do more running shine as an example, or running like I was about to say, there you go. running double shine. And that's what you need to see against ice climbers, because one of them is going to hit, and Nan is going to get separated, and then from there you can capitalize. But it looked like he made that adjustment pretty quick. I, I barely even saw that throughout the first two matches. And if he can keep that up, then he'll have a better chance at the set, I'd say. And I think the really scary thing about Fly is how solid his Sopo is, you know, on his on its own. A lot of a yeah. lot of Ice Climber players tend to fall apart once they don't have mana with them, but it seems like he's pretty comfortable. Like, he will still force you into the corner. He won't just hang back. Yeah, Lovage, back in the day, Lovage used to say that, uh, Nana's fly was, or <laughs> Fly's Nana was a handicap, like for him. Like it, he actually played worse with her. Um, not that I necessarily agree 100, percent but like it, it's really true. It, his solo game is phenomenal. Yeah, it's really annoying to play against, honestly. Um, Cause you're always worried. You always have to keep that in the back of your mind. Like you always have to remember him, like doing that comeback against uh, Silent Wolf. I don't know if you guys have seen that video, but uh, you have to keep that in the back of your mind. Always, Sopo. But uh, again, S Fat, at least having a lead for the first time I've seen in a while in this set. Um, let's see if we can maintain it. And th there's that approach. The shine approach is really going to make a big difference in the set. Yep, he doesn't like, have to worry about crouch cancels now with that. Yeah. It, it's it's just really good. Right. So, yeah, Nano's out. Uh -oh. And I like the conversion off of the up tilt, too. Uh-oh. I feel the momentum in the air. All right, that's yeah. fine. He had to end it. He had to end it. I felt yeah. it. Who fly, right? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I, I felt it coming. He just kept going. Tech chasing by himself. No Nana needed. He was in the wind. <laughs> yeah, and Fly is doing such a good job just recognizing situations that he's not exactly safe in and just wave dashing back, remembering that he does have stage control and it's okay to give up a little room in order to be safe. Like that back air he threw out a second ago was just so smart. Trying to cover S Fat's um, you know, approach. If he's going to run up and shine or do a, an air or an aerial, uh, Fly had it covered, and that was super smart. Flies just making all the right decisions. I really liked how he tossed out the neutraler to combat Fox's approach when he was in the center stage. Yeah. That was, that was pretty sick. Yeah, super, super smart. A little bit of a commitment there with that downer, but unfortunately, SFAT doesn't capitalize with that grab. But maybe he can. Maybe he can get Nana off. Good awareness by going after Popo, noticing uh, Fly was you know coming to, to save her. But she does end up dying. It's going to be uh, SFAT versus Fly Sopo this stock. Right now, Fly's going to have to play even more honest. 
Yes, sir. The, uh, the thing, like, Fly's goal right now is just to get as much percent as he can. Like, he knows he can come in with Nana and just uh, get a, you know, a sick down smash. Um, get the kill, but his, his goal is going to be to like, get as much percentage as they can before he dies. Good counter dash attack to Flies, mm -hmm. getting the knock up in the air. You guys saw that, that was nice. A nice bait there by s -Pat. getting the, uh, the up air. He needs to maintain this lead. Let's see if he can do it. At least take a match and you know, build it little by little. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, s -Pat's just using a lot of full jumps right now to stay outside of Flies' attack range, but gets oh, caught off guard. I. Yeah. One thing to clarify, he probably got caught uh, off guard while he was dashing around. Yeah, yeah I think so. It's, it's always unfortunate. Yeah. People moving around and it gets hit right as that happens. I like it. Okay, that was a good up smash. Uh, S-Fat taking that game. Oh. Nice. All right. Glad to see that. Glad we didn't see the trend of the 3-0s happening. Uh, the reason the up smash was so good is because he was at the edge. Uh, Ice Climber is, of course, very slippery, but most other characters as well. After that up smash, we get pushed back to the ledge, thus rendering Fox safe. Um, so even though that first up smash missed, he was still safe. Fly tried to go in for the punish and got abused. All right, what are you going to think? What do you think we're going to see? FD? Final Destination sounds like a good choice in my opinion. We're not going to see any platforms. Um, we already have Fly with the win on Final Dreams. And wait, it's 2-1. It so, is. So what was the other stage? Uh, Fountain, Stadium, and then Stadium again for Game 3. OK, yeah. Yeah, and FD is where we're going. We'll see how Fly can adapt to those, uh, those double shines that s is doing. Um, and I think even that blizzard was just an attempt to just kind of uh, throw him off. And you'll see a lot of like in place aerials I think a fly will adapt with. Just doing either retreating or aerials in place to try to cover that option. All right, getting pushed off. That's the 2007 side B, Five Fox. <laughs> Remember that? Everyone used to do that. It was like the chilling dude back in the day, as we used to call it. Oh, good DI. Oh, all right, okay. that was nice. The fact that he pulled back afterwards yep. avoided all follow potential follow-ups. Yeah, that was Fly sick. Meter. But Fly taking a good lead here. s needs to get rid of Nana. If he can do that and just play solid against Popo, he'll be fine. Ooh. All right, this will be a tech chase. Yep. Yep, good jab reset right there by Fly Manita. Hand off. Oh. Okay, we're back in control. Hand off. Uh-oh. Building better, up that damage. I like this better than wobbling. <laughs> it looks cooler. It looks way cooler. And this should be dead. Oh, the a sick angle, but uh, Fly recognizing it, getting that uh, invincibility, and then down smash right after. That was nice. Fly just hanging back, trying to get Nana. Whoa. Oh, uh -oh. what? That wasn't in the script. That was weird. Yeah. All right. But Fly doesn't seem phased. <laughs> Didn't even nod his head, you know? It's fine. Okay, we're coming back down with two climbers on the field. And this time, we didn't see any full jump or anything from s nice. He's dashing in. There, there it is. There you go. There it is. There. Oh, oh, what? That was so cool. That was like a pixel off. Yeah, he's seen it coming, too. Nana always double jumps really predictably. Yeah, he called it. Off. He called it. It's just a little bit off. Nice squall hammer. Definitely yeah, two recovery. Off. Not having a landing yeah, leg either. Exactly. Nice. Okay, I like it. I was hoping he wouldn't go straight to the side, but uh, yeah, it's good. Wow. Fly's reading everything. You saw that? Fly calling out his uh, his jump. Wow, that was so good. He's getting that. Up smash. Going to kill Nana at least. Nana's nice. gone, but. Yeah, Fly's just counter game. That was, that's what was so unfortunate about uh, you know, S-Fat losing two in a row. He's just Fly's going to have this counter pick. and just He's so good at reading jumps and just throwing out hitboxes and covering that option that uh, FD is just going to be a pretty hard match to win. What nice well-timed shot oh. right there, and it gets him off stage. OK. All right. But yeah, we do have S-Fat fighting from a deficit here. The double F tilt sending him off, and the blizzard too. But he DIs in and towards the edge. Pretty smart. Now he's back on the stage. Let's see what he's going to do. Yeah, Fly is looking for uh, either an opening to get a down smash or uh, a grab to convert into a down smash forward smash. <laughs> And those back ears are so good, just covering every one of uh, S-Fat's approaches. Any conversion here? No, not at all. Oh, and he goes wow. for the tournament winner, but still alive. That was scary. You can see uh, in S-Fat's movement, him still like, second-guessing what he should do. But he does kill uh, Nana pretty early. We'll see what he can do. This is uh, pretty much his tournament stock here. He oh, needs yeah. to, to clean this up. 
Great recovery. You see the patient plan right there. Fly grabbing possibly a little too soon. Ooh, and oh, wow. Now. As Fed gave that up with the lasers. Missing the sweet spot. No jumps. Oh, he's just going in. But yeah, good combo break by Fly with the down air. Immediate. All right, good grab in the up air conversion. Okay. This is not impossible. Very doable. You get up. Oh, wow, that was so close. I really like how Fed is mixing up his approaches, but there's the grab. Whoa. Okay, he's taking percent. Okay. That was a flood, but it worked out. Can you get her? Oh, mana? Oh, oh there gosh. it is. This should be it. Good this job by Fly Manita. He is moving on to the winner's finals here, while S Fat goes to the loser's bracket. That was a great match, and uh, I really respect S Fat's adaptation throughout the set.